Welcome to the John Gardena Classroom. This is an exciting day. We're going to speak on mindset. I'm going to dig in really deep here. But before I get started, please rate the show if you have not. It helps tremendously for the show to grow and for you as an individual to take action on something today. It just feels good to do something good for others. I'm telling you. And by having that that effect, that ripple effect or compound effect by just doing something small and winning at it, you'll feel better. So go ahead, stop, pause, click review, hit five stars, say, hey, you know what, John Gardena, you're doing it. Let's go. You're the man and you're helping others grow. And by doing that, you're going to help other people along the, along the way. Also, if you haven't picked up a copy of my book, Freedom to Ascend, do that on Amazon. It's on a sales price right now. So I would highly recommend grabbing that as well to understand how to become a better individual and transformed in your life. Lastly, if you have land and you're willing to donate some to my future ministry to help those in need, um, families, fathers, children, um, please go ahead and email me. It'll be in the show notes. So let's get started and buckle up. This one's going to be deep. So today we're going to talk about mindset. And I'm going to read you three quotes from the Bible. First is Matthew twenty two thirty seven, Love your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, and with all of your mind. Every single day when you rise, you should be thanking God and loving God and having that relationship. And if you do that, correctly each day, which we're not perfect in doing so. But if you do that and you love God with all your heart, he is going to go to battle for you with your flesh, with your spirit, and with your soul. I promise you that. Philippians 2, 5, in your relationship with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus. And we're going to talk about this in a second, but it clearly says by Paul to the Philippians, to have a relationship with one another, all the people that we meet in our life. And how best to do this, we have to have the same mindset as Jesus Christ. So again, I'm going to talk about that and how specifically to do that. And last, this is one of my favorite verses in the Bible that I'm really keen on for, for mindset and, and development is <clears throat> Romans 12, 2. Do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Paul is so specific. It's your mind that helps you be transformed as an individual. So how do we do that? And lastly, before we start on how we do that, I want you to think about that first line, do not conform to the patterns of this world. So what are the patterns of this world? Well, let's say lust for all material things, lust for other individuals. It's literally just being focused on the non-spiritual things of life. So if we're like everybody else, we have to have the same clothes as everybody else because it's popular. We have to listen to the same music as everybody else, watch the same movies, go at the same change of what's happening in society, this wokeness, whatever you want to call it. That's not living in the body of Christ. It's not the same mindset of Christ. To be an outlier, to be a true Christian individual in society is you cannot follow the way of society and the patterns that the world offers to you. And it's all sin. You have to understand that it's all sin. So to be rooted in the truth, you have to be rooted in the word. So let's get after the mindset now. It's very important though, what I just said. So there's seven points that I want to talk about of how to have a strong mindset. Number one, <clears throat> resilience. A strong mindset helps individuals bounce back from setbacks, challenges, and failures. It allows these individuals to persevere and keep going despite obstacles and enabling them to overcome difficulties to achieve their goals. Resiliency is critical. All right. So I'm going to everything refer back to Jesus. Jesus had so much that he went through to be resilient on this earth from his birth, traveling to Egypt, doing his ministry at the age of 30. He had so much friction. 
but he was resilient throughout the process. So you as an individual have to understand this. You, you are going to have trials and tribulations. You are going to have people not for you, but against you. But you have to be resilient. You have to know these things are going to happen. But if you're on a mission, which you should be, then you won't be distracted by all the crap around you. You will have a mission, everyone does, and you will have that goal to be attained. And you have to be laser focused on that. So I offer this to you today. Be resilient. Be strong. You have the capabilities because God is with you. And with God's with you, anything can be accomplished. Okay. Number two, your mental well-being. A strong mindset promotes positive mental health by reducing stress, anxiety, and negative thinking. It helps individuals develop a more optimistic and hopeful outlook, leading to greater happiness and overall well-being. So let's think about how important that mind is for your well-being. <clears throat> if you always wake up and you say, oh, the, the weather's going to rain today, or, oh, man, I don't know if I could get through the day because of this certain person. Well, what do you think is going to happen? Your day's going to be shot before, before you even began. On the other side, if you say, you know what, God, thank you for this day. I'm so grateful for the people you have given me in my life, my family, my friends, and the opportunities to grow today and be transformed in your will by using my gifts to do great works. What a different way of approaching the day. Everyone has the beauty inside of them to be great. But it's our minds that get in the way for us to be positive. So I challenge you today. When you wake up, today, tomorrow, and the next day, be grateful for at least one thing on this earth when you rise. All right, number three, one of my favorites, goal attainment. A strong mindset is essential for achieving success and reaching one's goals. It provides individuals with the determination, the focus, and discipline needed to stay committed, work hard, and make necessary sacrifices to achieve their desired outcomes. So a strong mindset of an individual is, I love that word, discipline, and the other word is focus. If you write any goal down and you are and you want to achieve it, there's only really two things you need to do. Consistency and seeing it, visualizing it, and, and writing it down and making it happen. Too many people wish, I want this to happen. I wish this would happen. You cannot move forward if you're just wishing things to happen. You have to visualize it. You have to write it down. And you have to take action to make those goals a reality. That's how you win. That's how you develop a strong mindset to achieve your goals. So start today and stop saying, I wish this would happen in my life. Actually take action, have some discipline, and be consistent with what you say you're going to do. Number four, confidence and self-belief. Having a strong mindset boosts self-confidence, self-esteem, and self-belief. It helps individuals trust their abilities, embrace challenges, like I said from number one, and take risks, leading to increased personal growth and success. Listen, <clears throat> again, let's go with the right mindset here to build self-confidence. It's built by small wins. Let me repeat that. Building confidence is built by having small wins. And over time, those small wins will compound to where you're starting to see this traction of greatness in your life. You're succeeding so well that you're like, man, I can't believe I'm having this much success in this area. Well, it's not the big things that matter that you do in life. It's doing the small things really well. And when you do that, it builds two things. It builds exponential growth to your success and also builds self-confidence that you're doing the right thing. It's that simple. We all want more self-confidence. Think of it like a sport, right? If I 
go to the batting cage and I hit every day for 15 minutes and I see that ball just flying off my bat, just crushing it. By the time I get to the game, I feel pretty confident I'm going to destroy that ball off the pitcher's hand. It's that simple. But for some reason, we overcomplicate it, and then we don't take action. And as a result, we are failing. So stop failing, turn it around, have small wins, and gain confidence. Number five, adaptability. A strong mindset enables individuals to adapt to changing circumstances and embrace new opportunities. It helps them also to remain open-minded, flexible, and willing to learn, allowing them to navigate uncertainty and thrive in different situations. Man, you have to be able to adapt. This world that we live in, it's changing so much all the time, like I said earlier. But in this case, like those who succeed, like, especially in the military, I always think about this. Like those who are very successful adapt to win. Every environment is not going to be perfect. There's going to be people, circumstances, unforeseen that you need to adapt. And if you can't do that well, you're going to have a hard time in life. So my suggestion to you is this. Start telling yourself things are going to come up. But how you react to that is how you learn how to win and have a stronger mindset. Number six, leadership and influence. A strong mindset is crucial for effective leadership. It helps lead leaders inspire and motivate others, make tough decisions, and handle challenging situations with composure and clarity. I'm going to come back to Jesus now, the greatest leader, the King of Kings. When he was here, he led his disciples and other people, and they were all attracted to what he was doing. He was the greatest leader. Why? One, he was the son of man, son of God. But that doesn't mean that when he was on earth, that he that he had to be had this leadership qualities, and he had so many leadership qualities. So, how can you become a leader? Again, we go back to Philippians two five, which I read earlier. You have to have the same mindset as Christ Jesus. There is no fear. A leader's don't have fear. They trust. So to have strong leadership, you have to trust God. To have strong leadership, you have to know your lane. So Jesus, obviously, his lane is ministry to the everyone. He came down to save souls. Your job in life is to find out what your gifts and talents are and then win in that area so that you can provide value to others. That's how important it is. So to be a strong leader is you have to be knowledgeable in the area you're in. You have to have experience and you have to trust that whatever you're doing through those experiences and through the knowledge and wisdom you have, that you're going to offer people a way to be transformed in their minds by inspiration and action. And you can do that. And that's what Jesus did. And that's why the majority of this world are Christians, because Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, came and he showed us the best way to model leadership by his words, his actions, and his ministerial gifts that he gave through healing and through peace. Okay, the last one here, number seven. This is called EI. Emotional intelligence, a strong mindset enhances emotional intelligence, allowing individuals to better understand and manage their own emotions and those of others. It helps build better relationships, resolve conflicts, and communicates effectively. Who, man, let's break that down for a second. Emotional intelligence, too. you have to understand your emotions. Too many people whether in person or through social media, they get so emotional. Everything's so emotional, very dramatic. Think about someone right now who overreacts to everything. Their mindset is not strong. So how do you combat that emotional um, response to maybe things that are said or how people act? You have to pause. You have to reflect. You have to gain clarity 
of the context and the situation. So then by slowing things down in your mind and let it process, you could actually offer more sound advice to someone or have a healthy conversation with someone. Or if you're a leader, you can give them information better instead of just ripping off an emotional response. So that's very key. How you use your emotional intelligence for your, from your mind through your actions by your words is critical and how you are going to affect people in a positive or negative way. So overall, having a strong mindset is important and it's vital to contribute to your personal growth, being more resilient, having more success and overall well-being in various aspects of your life. So today, I hope you had an opportunity to learn about mindset. And I do refer back to, to Jesus as the the one who helps us every single day because he is the one that we should have the same mindset as. Jesus Christ is, is the greatest. He's such a good shepherd. And if you're lost right now, I just pray that you will go to him and just say, Lord, help me, guide me, be the shepherd. I'm a lost sheep right now and I need your help. There's so many people out there right now who are suffering, who have no hope for their future for many different reasons, whether it's something that happened in their life from their past experiences, to something they're going through right now where they feel like they can't get out of the hole. But Jesus Christ has a way for you to be fulfilled, to be renewed, to be transformed, to have peace, to have grace, to have kindness and goodness, and have a strong relationship with him. So my ending point is this for mindset. If you want to get out of your hole that you're in, or if you want to be transformed to the best version of yourself, start with Jesus. He is the way. He is the truth. And he is the life. I love you. Have a blessed day. And this class is dismissed.